What is up, Obscure Mike people? Bart coming at you yet again with another review video, and this time it's going to be the Presonus Audio Box I1, which comes with a copy of Studio One, and this thing is supposed to work on PC, Mac, and iPad. I don't have an iPad. Hopefully the iPhone will suffice. We'll find out. It should, right? iOS, iOS. And this is routinely on sale for sometimes 50 bucks. Right now it's $69.99 just about everywhere. And I want to add, for all your gear needs, be sure to check my links because now I am working with fullcompass.com and it helps Obscure Mics greatly when you grab stuff from there. I will still add Amazon links. There will be Full Compass links. Sometimes there's Adorama links. But Full Compass and me have partnered up on some really cool stuff that's coming up. So keep your eyes peeled for all of that. It's not just affiliate links. But $69.99. Uh, I think I got it for like $40 to $50. Bucks. Uh, it goes on sale routinely, just like the Vocaster from Focusrite. I don't expect a lot out of this. I'm not going to lie. I know that the preamps in these cheaper Presonus devices are not that great, but that's the magic of the SM7DB link in description. I know, I know, I know. I really want to go full time with this. And we're inching closer. Inching, 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 inching. Yes, that finger is crooked. See that? Yeah, it's a crooked finger. That one there. Whoop. This one. Crooked. Long story. We're going to unbox this. Check it out. Right now I'm on the Yamaha AG06 Mark II. Powers the SM7DB fine, SM7B fine. We're not in preamp mode on this. This is just the gain to the mic. No booster involved. I have a feeling we're going to have to use a booster with this. We will see. But let's unbox this. Check it out build quality whole nine yards and i'm no julian kraus we just want to know like is it good enough to do stuff with podcast youtube etc etc and is it worth the money let's unbox it let's try it use it find out and we're gonna open the box yeah yeah open the box documentation some foam we've got a big old long printer style cable to USB A which we're going to have to use. And then we've got the audio box itself. Anything else in here? I opened it once and used it. I think everything else is like code dependent. Boom. Audio box I won. It feels good. It feels mostly metal. That might be plastic on the size, but the chassis is metal. We've got a XLR, an instrument jack, power indicator, Volume up and down, 48 volts, direct monitoring. Big knob here with tactile clicks. Headphone volume with tactile clicks. Headphone jack. Presonus again there. Then on the bottom, we've got some feet. Pretty basic interface, really. And then we've got the device for your iPad or hopefully phone in this case. We've got our power and USB 2.0 port and left, right out, Kensington lock. All that good stuff. Not huge. You know, mostly, I mean, you can grab it with one hand, do what you need to do. It's it's not bad. I mean, it feels good. It's not super plasticky, but it's what's inside that's always worried me about these. All right, so I've got the SM7DB plugged into the audio box I1. I do have an air conditioner on the background, and I have this whole time. And I will have to boost the volume in post on the audio box I1 at least a little bit. Sadly, I plugged in a cable to try to record on my iPhone. Did not work. Maybe it is strictly iPad. Maybe there are directions that you have to download some kind of software from Personas. Is there software for that on Personas? <coughs> well, that was 20 minutes of my life I'll never get back. I downloaded the My Personas app, which is uh, what you're supposed to download to record with this thing, plugged it in, hit record, it recorded my phone mic instead of this mic, and I had to log in and reset my password. It, it was a mess. Just a mess. Gotta say, not a big Personas guy. Just never have been, probably never will be. 
complicated. Every, everything's got to be overly complicated. Any who's in this thing's powering this fairly well. A little boost in post and it'll be okay. The headphone monitoring sounds worse than my Yamaha AG06, so that's something to keep in mind. Does not sound as good. Maybe that means the mic doesn't sound as good. I don't know. You'll have to tell me. $69.99. Really, the only reason to buy this at all was the option to like record to your computer and record to an iPhone, iPad at the same time. Maybe that's still possible. I can't get it to work. Not a, not on an iPhone anyways. iOS, iOS, they should work. The app's available to record. It didn't recognize it. I tried two cables. I just don't see the point. There's all kinds of uh, devices out there now that you can do 3.5 into a phone. You can do secondary USB-C to a phone. Some devices have an OTG on the go connection along with power. This is stuck in the past a little bit, in my opinion. It works. If you find one used and you, you know, it'll power whatever mic you want to power. It's got an instrument jack. It comes with software. Like, cheaper used is the recommendation here. Uh, like I said, it works fine. My headphone volume is maxed. My mic volume is maxed. Everything's maxed right now. But I am getting good levels here. I mean, it's not like I can't work with this. I totally could. But there are much better devices out there for 50, 60, especially 70 bucks. Uh, the Focusrite Vocaster is one of the ones I would pick over this all day, every day, even though it has a little bit of a gain thing, like it will not record above negative 3 dB. Maybe they've did a, uh, like released an update to fix that. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. I don't know. On the BB SAR, this is going to be a quick and simple one. I just, uh, mm, it's a four. Possibly worth buying for cheap or used, depending on how cheap or how used you can find this thing for. You know, if I if I saw one for 30 bucks and I didn't have an audio interface and I wanted to dabble, you know, this would be fine if it was just me. Um, and maybe with some tinkering and a lot of time spent, you can get it to work recording onto an iPhone or iPad as well as your computer. But if it wasn't 30 bucks somewhere and I didn't already have something and I wasn't a beginner, nah, you know, it works. It'll work for you. So if you, if you get a great deal on it and just need an interface, it will work, but just know there is better out there by far, by far better out there for the same money, sometimes less money, sometimes a little more money. I think the audio box go is the same price as this device and it's better. So if you got your heart set on a PreSonus audio interface, the audio box go is better, smaller. It's plastic. The build quality is not as good, but it is overall better in just about every way. In my opinion. Yeah. Cheaper used super cheap. That's the only way. Secure mics, PreSonus audio box ones out of here. It's blue. That's different. That might be worth an extra dollar to you. Secure bikes. Peace out.